Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little animated header for you today. If I just refresh this page. And there we go. It's a very cool little effect. We've done this sort of thing, hand coded it before using keyframes. Today we're going to use a shortcut. We're going to use some code supplied from Animista. And I'll put this link below the video for anybody that wants to use it. So let's get started. This is really easy to do. I go back to my page. I'm going to enable my visual builder. And let's just go down and delete this section. And we may as well delete this one as well. It's just some examples of other things. You can assign this class once you've got it to other things to make them animate. I'll leave that there. It'll revert to the normal when I take the CSS away, which I'll do now. And to do this today, we're writing the CSS in the theme options. So if you go to your dashboard, down to Divi, down to Theme Options, we're going to be on the first tab, which is the General tab. Right down at the bottom, you'll find this box. It's the same box as you can find in your Appearance and Customize, but this is easier to read, so we'll be using this today. So here's the code that I put in today, text pop-up. So I'm simply going to select that and delete it. And there we go. What I'll do is I'll move this title to the top. It's always a good idea to put in a title when you put in CSS. It makes things hot, easier to find. And it's a courtesy if anybody has to edit the site after you. OK. I'm just going to leave some space there. Save our changes. We'll go back to our page here. I'm just going to save and refresh the page. And as you can see, these have just reverted to how they would have been before. So let's get started. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. I'm going to use a single column. I'm just simply going to use a text module for this today. And we'll roll on down. There it is at the bottom. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules you saw there. And let's simply put in our heading. Now we can make it a heading here as well by simply selecting it, going up to where it says paragraph there, hit the little drop down chevron. Let's make it a heading two. Okay, well let's go over and decorate it like we would normally. So I'm going to go to my design. I'm going to go down to heading text and H2. Now if I go back now, the other way of getting to this, which is a real simple shortcut, just hover over it, you'll see a little paintbrush. It'll take you straight to the H2 edit. I want to change that font because this is going to work better on something that's a bit blocky. So I'm going to hit the default there. There's one I used before called Anton. Put it in the search. There it is right there. There we go. And I want it to be pretty big. I'm going to leave it on regular rather than bold. But I'm going to A, put it in the middle. I'm going to make it probably 100 picks. And you can change the size of this if you want to by hitting the little mobile icon and set different values for the tablet and mobile if you need to. So we've got a nice big heading there, which is great. Now I'm going to turn it white so it's going to disappear into a white background there, but that's OK. Now I'm just going to save this. I'm going to give the whole section a bit of a background color. So I'm going to go into the section, I'm going to give it a background. I'm going to use a gradient today. You've got color, gradient, image, or video if you want. I'm going to use a gradient. I'm just going to leave it the default colors there. So there we go. We've got a pretty normal looking heading there. So I'm just going to save this. I want to move this section right up to the top. OK, well, let's get our effect going. So let's go over to Animista. And if we go up to the top here, little code icon. Here's the actual code for it. Now here's the class. You can simply hit the button to copy the class. And we'll go back to our theme options box where we were. I'm going to drop down below my title. Title anything. If you want to put a title or notes up there, it's a great idea. Forward slash star star forward slash. And in between the two stars, you can write what you want. It will not be read as code. OK, so there's our actual class. 
I'm going to want that in a minute, class name. Let's copy the keyframes that make the actual anim animation there. And like I say, it's not difficult to write keyframes, but this little site makes it so much quicker by having it auto compiled for you, which is great. So I've just hit the copy keyframes right there and we'll go back to our theme options and pop that straight underneath there. And there it is. Colors are down the bottom there. You can recognize hex colors there with the hashtag. If you need to change any of the shadow colors or anything like that, just change those. I'm gonna leave mine just exactly as it is like that. I'm gonna slow this animation down in a little while. So let's save our changes. So you see the little check mark there we go and we'll go back to our page and now I want to apply this class to that text module don't need the dot don't grab the dot just from the T to the ending P there copy it we'll go back to our page now I'm going to give our little text module that class so I'm going to go into the text module I'm going to go over to advanced CSS ID in classes there's CSS class. I'm going to paste it in there. OK. Just need to refresh this page now because we've written that CSS code since this page was last refreshed. So if I save. Once I refresh, you should see these return to how they were because they've already got the class names added to them. And you should see our title. There we go. As you can see, it's got our animation going. So I just need to adjust the size here. I can either shave some off the bottom or add a bit to the top. I'm gonna to add a bit to the top because this text, the CSS has made it sort of rise up from about here to here. You could add some negative margin if you wanted to drag the whole thing down. But I'm gonna add a bit more space because I think it'll look fine wider. So I'm going into the section to the design. I'm gonna go up to spacing Let's try 100 pixels at the top. It's better. Let's add another 50. Let's say 150. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Great. So let's just save our changes. We'll save the page changes. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we go. We've got our little animated heading. Load the page. And there it is. Now, to me, that's a little bit quick. I want to just slow it down for a bit of grace. And to do that, we can just simply edit the code and it's really easy. Let's go back to our options. Our first line here, which is with the class name, text pop up top. If we look at these two lines here, the WebKit is for compatibility with certain browsers. And the other one is a general one. So it's pretty compatible with everything. After the text pop up in blue there, you see 0.5 seconds. I'm going to change mine. I'm going to make it quite slow. I'm going to make it say 1.5 seconds. And you can I could do this to both. And you can make it any speed you want. 0.2 seconds, 5 seconds, however you want. But 1.5, we'll try that and see what happens. Save the changes. Back to the page. Now when I refresh, they'll still do their little animation. But it should be a bit slower and more graceful. There we go. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. You can make some great little text boxes with it, like I've done here, and have some impressive looking little bullet lists. Very easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.